Okay, guys, God bless you, and welcome to This Is It. <laughs> it's coming, I guarantee it. Guys, listen, remember the video I did the other night when my house flooded, when the house was flooding? I was sitting here in this room doing this video, and um, or doing the last video, and then I said, hey, I'm going to take a break, and I went into my bathroom, and there's water everywhere. I was like, what is going on? I thought I had a broken pipe. Wrong. It was flooding. So San Antonio got inundated with water. This I've never been in this house where water actually came into the house like this. But where I'm at in this room, water did not come into this room. It came in through the back rooms. It went through the walls. I mean, it was crazy. It went in, you know, in the room that's got all the artwork. But I came back and I, I finished the video because this room was dry. This this big room with the kitchen, dining room, living room. It's all one area, this one area. So it didn't it didn't get it didn't get hit with water. Y'all wanna hear something crazy? <laughs> yeah, this is so crazy. Okay. Let me show you something real quick. Okay, so watch this. I'm gonna show you a little clip from the last video I did. What I said. This is crazy. <laughs> watch this. Ready? Okay, here's the video from the other day. It's uh, published on September 4th. There it is, right there, September 4th. It's September 5th today. Okay, so it was flooding in the back of my house while I was doing this. Now, listen to this. I want y'all to listen to what I said. To listen to this. <laughs> okay, let me turn the volume all the way up on the vid. There we go. The, the lid has been taken off. Uh oh. Once upon a pause. Don't know what. Sorry about that. It glitched. So here's the video from last night while it was flooding in my house. Listen to what I said. The the lid has been taken off. The scroll has been unrolled. It's gonna flow like water now. I told you. <laughs> Tonight, here's what we're. <laughs> okay. So I'm sitting there telling you guys, hey man, the lid is off. This thing's going to flow like water. <laughs> water was flowing through my house, and I didn't even know it. Now, what's even crazier is, after I did the video, I was like, oh, man, I got to go check on all the damage, right? So I go back there, and I'm like looking, where where's all the water going? And, and you know, it wasn't too bad. It came in, and it, it, it's like it came in like a wave, like at the beach. It like hit, and it came in, and then it just all receded, which is just crazy. Now watch this. I went outside and I made a video. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna describe what happened behind me right there. That's where Billy and I graded my yard to put the container. So we got a machine and we graded the yard so water wouldn't sit back there because it was like a soup bowl. And we made a slow grade from there all the way to the front to the street. So from the back of the property all the way to the front of the property, there's a very slight, you know, three degree gray, uh, three degrees of gray that just goes, you can barely see it, but that way water will, you know, just clear out and won't just sit there under that container that's got those big blocks and make it all mushy and make it, you know, sink and be unstable. So what happened last night was that alley behind my house, it overflowed. And so when it overflowed, the side of my house right behind me was an entire river going that way. And it was, and I in my fence right there, I left a gap like this much for water to flow under the fence. So that water comes out this way and it intersects with the street water that's coming down the street and it goes boom and it makes an eddy and it made a U-turn. And it came to my front door. Out of every house in the neighborhood, I'm the only house that was just, I had piles of debris in my yard. I've, I videotaped it for you guys. You guys are going to see it. So while in the last couple of videos, if y'all have been listening, I've been saying, guys, it's wide open. The, the floodgates are open. The data is just going to flow like a river now because it's solved. The mystery solved. Now, listen, guys, I'm going to show you such profound mind-boggling information during this video after I do this short little testimony that y'all are going to freak out. You're going to freak out. It's so, the host body is a trick. The whole human host body was a trick. It was a way 
to transmute an angel, which is represented by a five-pointed star, into food for another race of beings. That's why when you turn a five-pointed star upside down, it turns into the sigil of Baphomet. Okay, so I can't wait to show you guys this stuff. You're going to out. This is so exciting. Okay, so let me give you the testimony first, okay? I just told you what happened. Now I'll document it. Okay, so there I was saying it's going to flow like water. <laughs> okay, just said that. We don't need to hear it again. Y'all heard it. Okay, so here we go. Now, watch this. So here's the video. I made a video last night and today to document what happened. Watch this. Okay, here we go. Here we go. So here's a video of how high the water is all debris. Water came up. I'm going to pause it. Look at the side of the truck. Look how high the water was. That thing's up in the driveway. That high on the truck. It's above the floor, probably. Um, Did on my... Look at the amount of debris that's in the yard. Wow. That was just piles of debris. Walked up here. Hopefully the BMW didn't get... That's my kid's car. Look at all the debris <laughs> at the front yard. There it is. Okay. It had water. water look, at, look at the water line on that wheel right there. Unbelievable. Like halfway up the door. This thing's probably soaked. Look at the front door. Look at the I, I, I'm going to pause it for a sec. Pause. The heck. The height. I'm going to pause it for a sec. So, so think about this. I keep telling y'all, look, the Lord gave me the unrolled scroll. Jesus unrolled the scroll, guys. And you unroll a scroll like this, upside down and Right side up and upside down at the same time. That's the paradigm. Jesus on the cross and Peter with the keys to the kingdom of heaven. That's it. And so anyway, I've been so dogmatic about that. So I was sitting there going, man, the the, the floodgates are open. This is it. It's going to flow like a river. I've been saying that in like the last three videos. <laughs> and while I'm saying that, water's, you know, there's a river going behind me. There's a river going down. The entire street was a river. and then it. It intersected, and the two came to my front door. Watch this. Watch this. This is awesome. <laughs> uh, the water on the wall. Look how high that is. That's the water line. That's the height. That's the top of the second um, row of siding. The high one, that's like where the way must have hit, and then it subsided. Then it came, and it leveled out down below. But watch how it didn't come that's in the front door. Line. Was obviously two thirds of the way up the wheel. Wow, amazing. Okay, so let me show you. Okay, so this is the next morning when I went out. This is over the high. This is massive flooding. Look at this. This is a road that goes through Almas Park, and the water is over the bridge. That's a bridge right there, folks. <laughs> That is all underwater, completely underwater. Yep, it's over the highway exit even. That's why I flooded because this was a serious flash flood. There you go. Yep. I want to show everybody something like I'm going to zero in on the, okay, now the water line I'm right gonna there. I'm going to pause it right there. You see that line of debris right under the grout line? That is how close the water came to literally a river <laughs> almost came through the front door. While I'm sitting here going, yeah, it's going to flow like a river. <laughs> and a river's in my front door. That's insane. It gets better. <laughs> Watch this. Here on the edge of the tile right there so at the front door it was half an inch from coming in the front door um but the water level came up here let me zoom out it came up that high at the front but it didn't go in the front door where i was doing the video but it went it went over here 
and it went in this door and flooded this room. You can see the water level on the door when I zoom out. So this room got flooded, the art room. The art room took some water. But look at this, the river flowed all the way to my front door. Look at that. And only my door of everybody. I'm gonna pause it. Guys, check it out. You can see the two rivers intersecting and you can see the line of debris and they came together at my front door. <laughs> That's so crazy. I was like. <laughs> on the street. Okay, so I don't know if y'all know how crazy this is. So while I was over in that door doing the video saying the river, it's that the floodgates have opened, that the information is flowing like a river. The river was literally flowing to this house and it only hit this house. Didn't hit over there, didn't hit over there, didn't go up the street. Even though we have the same, you know, my, my level of my yard's actually higher. But what happened is the alley behind me overflowed and it came through my backyard and it came to a river from the side of the house and it convened right here. I mean, that's crazy, guys. While I'm telling everybody, guys, the Bible's wide open. It's going to flow like a river now. Look at the river that was flowing to my house while I was saying that. That's just crazy. Oh my gosh. Unbelievable. So anyway, we're going to get this and save it. <laughs> okay. Hang on. Let me uh, pause that. Let me knock that down. Okay, so now let me show you something else. Let me show you something else crazy that happened. Okay, so let's see. Raining and flooding. Okay, so here's the other thing. So this is the show note server and the folders right here. So here's the thing. The last folders that I'm working on right now is the Citra Acra folder. It says Citra Acra Kelepot Host Body transmutation statue of eleutheria that's the title you see this one right here that says game over okay listen up i name all the folders i didn't name that folder dave the wave i called him on the phone and i said dave would you do me a favor would you take the slideshow that we did for everybody that was in that video i see you know the like the video with bernie man and in all that and the kelepot i just I said, I want to save all those images in a row since I organized them. Could you make a folder for me and just put it in the show notes server? And so Dave did that folder and he named it Game Over. That's what he named it, Game Over. Oh, so that's Dave putting all the slides, you know, into one folder. Okay, well, I had this on my desktop. Now listen up, folks, this is insane. I was going through the game over folder and I was populating it with some extra images just to kind of really tweak it, to make it tell a story just by the imagery. Because I want to leave this for everybody. I know the end's coming, there's no doubt, zero doubt. By the time you're through with this video, you're gonna freak out, <laughs> I guarantee it. And so I was like, okay, let's do the game over folder and let's, let's really tweak it. So I was working on the game over folder and you guys remember this, the Ormhoxen. It's called this is called the Ormhoxen Snake Witch. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna I'm gonna type it into Google Images just so you can see it. I like doing stuff right in front of you so you know. Ormhoxen, there it is. Ormhoxen Snake Witch, right there. Boom. Okay, so there it is. I'm you know not making this stuff up. And it, I can see, I can see very quickly that's a jaguar that's missing an eye. Okay, but here is another Ormhoxen. Look, bronze Ormhoxen Celtic snake witch goddess. Okay, so see this guy right here, he's missing his eye. Do you know why? Because they're mocking the entire human race because the witch runs it the mother of exile, the woman that rides the beast. She has everybody's eye, like one eye closed. 
That's your condition. That's why the Bible says if your eye be single, your whole body's full of light. Because you got one that's right and one that's wrong. The only way to fix the situation is to start looking at things a different way. Turn it upside down. And you'll see you're in a prison. Now watch this. So we're going to take the Ormhoxen snake witch. I just proved that's what it is. And I'm going to go back right over here to, you know, this is, let me show you the folder so you know I'm telling you the truth, absolute truth. Look. Right here, game over. See, that's the folder. Game over, crop circles are transmutation circles. Let me tell you something, guys. There's no such thing as a crop circle. There are transmutation circles that are done in fields of crops. Uh, you're going to know what the story of the evil farmers is all about by the time you're done with this video. You're going to freak out of your mind. <laughs> you're going to freak out. Okay, so here we go. Let's go back to down to... The Armhoxen Snake Witch Goddess. Okay, should be right about here somewhere. Okay, keep going. There she is. Okay, take a look at take a look at this symbol right there. Remember that symbol? Remember I showed it to you. Okay, what else has she got? Just like all the other cultures, she's got opposing snakes. She's got snakes in two different hands. One going one way, one going another way. Ormhoxen Snake Witch. No different than no different than the Mayan calendar. No different than the Citra Book of Citra Acra. The book of the other side. Here's a Mayan calendar. Uh, see the guy right here being engulfed by a serpent? Let's see. Let me uh, enlarge that. Watch this. There you go. So there's the serpent's eye is green, is blue. Here, there's his open mouth right there. There's his fangs. And here's a human, and there's a human. And out of their mouth are two rivers flowing together. Isn't that weird? Bizarreness. And they're opposing serpent heads. And then if you look at it, this makes one face, eye, eye. And then this is the mouth. And this makes one big face. I've drawn it in. I just haven't populated this particular folder with the one face. No different than the Pink Floyd album. You have a profile and a profile, and the two profiles make one face. That's what this place is all about. Now watch. So I'm looking at this Ormhoxen snake witch pendant, and I hear in my spirit, I hear the Lord tell me, look at the image in Jumanji. Now, remember the movie, the Jumanji 2 movie? Any of y'all that have seen it, the whole goal of the game is to get this eye and put the eye back in the slot of this giant leopard mountain because his eye has been removed. And in order to win the game, and there's five participants, there's a Roman numeral five, and there's five participants that go into the game. And they're trying to get the eye back, this emerald eye, back in the slot of the giant jaguar. <laughs> okay, so you see the jaguar with the one eye? The, okay, the game Jumanji, they got to put the eye back. Now, what folder was that in? What folder is that in? Do y'all remember? What's the name of the folder? The name of the folder is Game Over. That's the name of the folder. Okay, let me show you something that popped up. Okay, there's the Jaguar. I had to go look for the the scene. And so I started I started looking for it on YouTube, and I'm just gonna try and play a very short clip. And this girl, she gets a hold of the stone that goes in the eye, and watch what happens. I'll take that. What happened? Game over. <laughs> I was like, what? <laughs> the guy says, game over. I'm populating the game over folder to put the picture of the Jaguar next to the Ormhoxen snake witch 
she's standing in a bunch of snakes with an eye that goes in the jaguar slot that's missing the eye. And the guy says, game over. <laughs> it gets better. <laughs> Check this out. I was like, what the hell? Okay, so I don't want to get a codec violation. So she gets bit by the serpent. She goes, Venom is my weakness. Okay, watch this. So she steps on a snake. She says, Venom is my weakness. Weakness. <laughs> so she all of a sudden she disappears and then she comes falling out of the sky and it makes a pentagram <laughs> you can't make this stuff up I was like <laughs> I was just sitting there going like <laughs> this is impossible ready watch here you go watch the clouds look right here Okay, now here she goes. It makes a pentagram. Slow it down on your own time. I don't, like I said, I don't want a codec violation. Okay, slow it down. You'll see the pentagram it makes. Now watch. Now, now, okay, she's falling face down. Let's take a look at the, so she's falling with her face to the earth. <laughs> the rock is falling facing up. <laughs> yeah, watch. Here we go. <laughs> Boom. And then all of a sudden he lands and puts it in and the game's over. <laughs> My job for the kingdom was to restore y'all's vision. <laughs> That's why I have a vision coming, and that's why I'm falling out of the sky upside down. Hang on. Let me just get that real quick. <laughs> I'm sorry. I just can't help it. It's like, uh, this is your life, Johnny. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, there we go. So, falling out of the sky upside down. Uh-huh. Oh, and there he is, upside down, falling out of the sky, vampires, totally different jumps, no shoes, shoes, clear yellow glasses, reflective red mirror glasses, <laughs> gateway safety. That's probably just a coincidence. There you go. And so just as a little reminder, gateway safety, rise with the sun. <laughs> there you go. Um, yeah, so let me just get back to that other one. Game over. The girl walks through a bunch of snakes. There you go. Let me just show it to you one more time. I'll take that. See the two different circles? Look at that. That's crazy. One, two. Game over. <laughs> I'm sorry. I just saw you. So I wonder if the Lord's trying to tell me something. <laughs> it's going to flow like a river, guys. <laughs> hey, Johnny, there's a river at your front door. Go check that, would you? What? <laughs> I think I'm going to, you want me to what? You want me to put the jaguar head from Jumanji next to the snake, which the Ormhawks and snake pendant? All right, Lord, I'll do it. Oh, weird. <laughs> and, and, and you want me to put it in the game over folder? Okay. <laughs> and that's the weird way the Lord works. So... Now I have a video to show you guys. Oh, you're going to freak. Guys, there's no spatula big enough right now. There's no front end loader you can get. 
you'll probably need to duct tape your jaw before we start this next part of the video. I'm going to take a little break and go see if the house is flooding. <laughs> yeah, okay. Here we go. We're going to have this folder ready. This folder ready. Take a look at that. Let me show you a, a cool GIF here. Let's, let's see if we can enlarge that. Take a look at that. Just stare at that for a second. Uh, I want to I want to draw your attention to some images. Uh, remember the tree of life uh, that the Statue of Liberty is standing on top of, uh, represented by the kelepot. It's got the two triangles on one side and one on the other, and in the center it makes a five-pointed star, and the five-pointed star is inside, right side up upside down triangles like you're seeing on your screen right here you see that you're gonna see some stuff today if you haven't already that's going to blow your minds there you go just take a look at that for a second just watch just look at the outer circles when the yeah you see does that starting to look like all the crop circles y'all have seen don't worry by the time you're done <laughs> by the time we're done y'all are going to be calling Giorgio Sakopoulos I believe that's his name <laughs> you better call ancient aliens <laughs> tell them we've resolved everything they can go ahead and cancel their program it's going to be fun, man. It's going to be awesome. Okay, take a look. Just look at that for a minute. Look at, this, look at the symmetries. Look at the changes. This is all the same, guys. You're looking at the hindecagram. You're looking at the Statue of Liberty base. You're looking at the formation of DNA. You're looking at stuff you never even imagined, and it's going to be made manifest here in just a minute. And so I'm going to go ahead and close out some other folders. So they don't get in my way. I'm going to get any extra stuff off my screen that doesn't need to be there. And you guys just take a look at the way that geometry manifests. And look at the sim look at the different sim symbols it leaves. Y'all have already seen these symbols. I've shown them to you repetitively, but the way the Lord delivers information is perfect. He'll give me one thing, let me understand it. Give me another thing, let me understand it. Give me another thing, and they all build on each other. If you guys are new to this channel and you don't know what the hell is going on, <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> You're going to have to go back watch the last 20 videos. Uh, because I would start with the You Are Exiles DVD that's on my channel. Watch You Are Exiles. If you want to go back and really freak out, go watch Kingdom Divided because that's what Jesus meant. Any kingdom divided against itself is brought to desolation, just like the serpent eating its own tail. Any kingdom divided against itself, just like twins, right side up, upside down, with the Ouroboros around it. Any kingdom divided against itself is brought to desolation, and you're in it. Your name is Bennett, and you're in it. Okay, so now let's do this. Guys, I got some, I got some stuff that's so great. I pray, Lord, please protect this video. Okay, your protection. Guys, if you see any commercials on this, I'm sorry, but because I'm using uh, clips from other stuff, uh, you know, they have monetization on their stuff. I do not. The Lord told me I may not monetize. I may not charge for anything. Everything's free. As, as you freely receive, freely give. Anyone wants to help out, that's then it's just, you know, y'all's goodness of heart. That's all we're doing here. All right. God bless. Okay. So here you go. Let, I'm going to pause it. Uh, and we're going to get going. We're only 29 minutes into this, but we probably got another hour. So this is going to be awesome. Okay, I'm going to keep um, any reviews to a, an a, a extreme minimum. If you don't know what I'm talking about, go watch the other videos. I'm sorry. So here you go. Very quick review. Crop circle right here, which is inside of Vesica Pisces. It's, this is a Venus flytrap. Tattoo, it's also a vagina, obviously. Venus is uh, Lucifer. Venus is the morning star. 
and that's used for Lucifer. So Lucifer flytrap, there it is. And there it is right in the middle of a vesica Pisces. Here is the book of Sitra Akra. Sitra Akra is the realm of spiritual impure or evil spiritual forces from the other side. And they are manifest within the host body, which is represented over here by what's called the Kabbalah tree of life. It's really the tree of death for us. The host body is your guaranteed death. That's why Jesus said, uh, do not your own scripture say you are gods. He was quoting Psalm 82, you are gods, but you're going to die like men. You know why? Because you're a god that got caught in a snare, which is a man, a host body. So you're a god and you got demoted into a host body. Have I not said you are gods, but you shall die like men. You shall fall like one of the princes. Psalm 82. Okay, so here is the tree of life, the Kabbalah tree of life. It's really the tree of death, and it houses impure spiritual forces. Uh, no, it, it's connected to the Sitra Akra, which are impure spiritual forces, and the, they house the essence of holiness. The Kelepot, which is what the Statue of Liberty is standing on, the Kelepot from Jewish Kabbalah, it's standing on top of an 11-pointed star, which is called a hindecogram, which is called a Kelepot, and it means peel, shell, or husk. It's a human body. She's standing on top of a geometric shape that represents your human body. That's what it is. And they call it the Kelepot. And here it is drawn out in what's called the Tree of Life instead of an 11-pointed star. Here is a crop circle. It is identical to, if you look at this triangle, look, follow the triangle right there, equal, equilateral triangle right here, and then we're going to do another triangle that's a spear tip. Here's the tip of the spear. We go up to this point, go down, go down, spear tip. So here's the tip of the spear. There's to the edge, down, edge, down. Oh, wow. Isn't that amazing? That happens to be exactly what the Sitra Akra is. I'm going to enlarge the Sitra Akra, the book of Sitra Akra, just to make sure you see it. And this is a crop circle, folks. And in a crop circle, you have the Sitra Akra. There it is. It's proven now. There it is. It just got proven right in front of you. So there's no arguing that. Oh, rats. Okay, so there it is. A crop circle is done in the Kabbalah tree of life and is same as the Sitra Akra. And the Sitra Akra represents evil or impure spiritual forces from the other side, the dark side, the dragon. Okay. Okay. Now, here we go. Very quickly. Uh, transmutation circle, identical to a crop circle. Sitra Akra, if I rotated this like this, it's the same. Here is a transmutation circle, I want you to look right here. You see this right here? There it is right there. You see this right here? There it is right there. You see this right here? There it is right there. You see this right here? There it is right there. It is identical. So these are transmutation circles. Everything has the right side up, upside down uh, paradigm. You see this image right here? Just cut it in half right here and flip it over. Right side up, upside down. It's all the same, same. Remember I told you, look at the Armhoxen witch, snake witch pendant. What was in the middle? What was where crotch is? That same image right there. What's in the middle of, uh, what's in the middle of the Kelepot? A right side up, upside down triangle, and then that's where the, the star is being transmuted in the middle. There it is again. Okay, I told you pay attention to the gift that I showed you. It's all the same geometry, but guys, y'all are about to see something so staggering you won't believe it. Again, here is the right side up, upside down triangles. And there in the middle is where we are transmuted. Same thing here. It's just a different flavor. You have your hexagon one, two, 
three, four, five, six. So you have your hexagon, which is what's uh, what the the inside of uh, the right side up, upside down triangles make. Where they come together, it always makes a hexagon. So you can just connect different points. There, 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 and you have your hexagon in the middle. There's your five pointed star, dead center. Okay, so you're getting all the same things. Look, yin yang. It's green up top, but it's green here, but it's reversed here. So look, look at these lines here and here. Upside down, right side up. Here is a face that was cut into this. I don't know if y'all understand how crazy this is. This is just crazy. Look at look at that, that that is cut. Look at that. Those are people standing in there. Look how these, look how these, crops were cut again these are not crop circles these are okay say it out loud these are transmutation circles that are cut into crops again these are transmutation circles that are cut into crops and the one thing they all have in common is transmutation wow how do we discover that well the lord showed me what the statue of liberty was all about and that's how he I discovered it. The, I didn't discover it. I was led to see it. The Lord let, told me, look up what a lemon pointed star is. Look up what a kelepot is. And so he just led me everywhere to go to get all the data. And it's proven itself out now. That is the inside of the kelepot. You have the right side up triangle. You have the upside down triangle intersecting. And in the middle, what's being transmuted. It's a consciousness. It's one of God's angels that got caught in got caught in a host body system. Here's another one. Now I'm just going to show this to you, and then we're going to move on to the big stuff. Again, this is so important to, to see this. This is exactly what you're seeing on, on that moving GIF of a square. And I'm going to show it to you in other venues. This is the same thing. These all have the same common denominator. They are transmutation circles. They are the inner part of the transmutation circle, the Keller pot. They are the inner part of the host body because the Keller pot is the host body. It's a peel. It's a shell. It's a husk. It's a peel. It's a shell. It's a husk. It's your host body. And they are showing the ones that are doing these that they're transmuting the crops. I'll say it again. They do it in crop circles because they're showing everybody that they're the bosses and they're transmuting the crops. Watch. Oh my gosh. That is absolutely insane. That's why those girls that have that same imagery tattooed on their bodies right under their breasts they have locusts that's why girls have horrifying tattoos down by their vaginas of open mouths of snakes and all kinds of creepy stuff because it's true okay now here is the transmutation circle here's one of them i've shown you previously it's forward and backwards dragons Chains of Everlasting Darkness, Jude 1.6. Forward and backwards, forwards and backwards ligaments of the body. And everything you're seeing here represents the host body system. So look, you see right here? That's the, that is, here's the kelepot right here. So here's the kelepot. That's your host body. In the inside of the kelepot right here, the right side up, upside down triangle, this is what the Statue of Liberty is on, guys. You wanted your liberty, you got it. But you don't get to choose what happens. Here you go. Here is a right side up, upside down, intersecting tri equilateral triangles with the star in the middle. Okay, I want to point out, at the top, there's two triangles here. But the two turn to one down here because that's their goal. You get They take the two, and as it goes this way, it's the same number, one, two, three, four. You go this way, one, two, three, four. And the two, go as they go around the circle, become one, just like the Mayan calendar. 
the two go around the circle, and then the two faces show up, and the two become one. Okay, that's what this is all about. Okay, now watch. Watch this. This is going to blow your mind, guys. <laughs> this is so crazy. Uh, okay, just like a couple more pictures, and then we're off to the crazy new data. I'm going to take the transmutation center of the circle and slide it right over here. There it is. Look, there you go. Boom. See it? Now I'll take this and slide it right over there. Boom. Okay. Now remember those images because that's what you're going to be seeing a whole lot of in a venue you haven't seen yet. That's why I see this girl right here. What does she have? She has, she has a transmutation circle on her on her chest, under her under her breasts, and she's got the right side up, upside down triangle, turning into a locust. By the way, there's more on that locust than y'all have seen. Okay, let's see. Let me see if I got the GIF. Let's see. Okay, I'll let you look at this one more time, then we're going to do the vid. Okay, get ready. Okay, Tree of Life. Go and look, Tree of Life. Transmutation circles, oh my gosh. Tree of life, transmutation circles, and what they call sacred geometry because it's the building blocks for your body. Okay, get ready, guys. Here we go. All right, guys. I had to open up one more folder very quickly. Need to show you a couple more transmutation, uh, a couple more transmutation circles and crops. This is DNA. I'm going to enlarge this. I want you to look right here. Remember the Kellipot? This is a exact variation of it. So here you go, look. You have the DNA that's going around this circle, but I want to show you, look in the middle of this circle next to it. And this is going to come into play in a minute. What do you see here? It's the same as a hindecagram or a Kellipot. It's just been reduced in the number of triangles. There's two at the bottom. And there's one at the top, but there's two in the middle. So you have two here and then one, two. You have two here, one, two, and the, they, the two become one. And they are inside this circle, which is DNA. This is a DNA strand. It also, they just think of it as the Ouroboros and the serpent. Just think of it as that as well. Because you're going to see that in just a minute. And it's going to be so profound you might not be able to find your jaw ever again. <laughs> okay, here we go. Very quickly, I want you to look at this image. These are twirled little uh, pieces of grain, and this is in the middle of a crop circle. I want you to look at it. Watch. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, that means because that's an intersecting that's the same thing as a Star of David, because in the center of the Star of David, it makes a hexagram, and then in the very center is the star that's being transmuted. That's the center of one of these crop circles. Okay, so I just wanted you to see that. I want you to see another crop circle that has scorpions. See the scorpions? And see it, how many? There's one, two, three, four, five. And look, it looks like stairs, doesn't it? Like there's stairs leading out of it. Very interesting. Wait till you see where this goes. By the way, have y'all seen Drake at uh, his concert? And he's got a giant scorpion in a box waiting to come out of the box. That's Drake, you know, the rapper. Got a giant scorpion in a box at a concert waiting to come out. Oh, kind of like that crop circle I just showed you. Okay, now that I've shown you that, one more. I want to show you this one crop circle. This is super important. This You're, you're going to see this in just a minute. Do you all know what that is? I know what that is. I've seen that quite a bit doing what I do. That's called the triple moon goddess. I've shown it to you before. It's on the girls that have the tattoos with the locusts and the transmutation circles. They have the triple moon goddess. They'll have the waxing full and waning moon on their forehead. They'll have it right there in the transmutation circle with the locust. It's crazy. It, it shows that they're a priestess in witchcraft. 
That's one of the symbology of it. And here is this. This is called, it's the triple moon goddess. They call her the spiral goddess. Triple moon goddess. But let me just show it to you. Here it is. You can go look it up for yourself. There it is. Okay, look. Is that what it is? That's exactly what it is. Okay, is this what it is? That's exactly what it is. That's exactly what it is. And if you look at the, you know, the, the boobs and the circle down below it, it's a face. It's the devil. And those are horns. There you go. So this is the devil's system. And we are the devil. We got turned into the devil. Okay, now we're ready. I've given you all the data you need to watch these videos and to freak out of your minds. <laughs> this is going to blow your minds. <gasps> we will spend approximately one minute on this video. I just want you to see this. I just, this just happened. This is one of those things where the Lord just drops it in your lap. I was like, what is this? And I heard the Lord tell me to watch it. I'm like, okay, watch what's on this. Root three is an integral part of the Genesis pattern. Nature's first pattern. Oh, that's weird. Oh, wait a minute. That's starting to look like crop circles. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. That's starting to look like kindergram stuff. That's starting to look like kelepot stuff. Oh my gosh, what the heck? I just want to tell you that what you're watching right now has nothing to do with transmutation circles that are cut into fields of grain. This is a disparate source. I just went on a math. The Lord led me to like a math through Google Images. The Lord led me to a math site. And wait till you see where this goes. We're just getting started. Y'all aren't y'all haven't even gotten close to the jaw drop yet. Even though you're probably still picking up your jaw, but watch. There you go. I'm going to stop it right there. Do you do y'all understand? Do you, do you understand that's actually what the Statue of Liberty is on top of? Do you understand that? Holding a penis with the imprisoned lightning with a penis in her hand. And liberty means Eleutheria. Listen to just freedom. Have I not said you are gods? But you shall die like men. You shall fall like one of the princes. Let me tell you something. The enemy hates my guts. <laughs> Good. <laughs> I love them anyway. But they hate it when I laugh at them.
That's so crazy. Okay, y'all ready? Now, look what you've seen. What do you see right there? A right side up, upside down triangle, and right in the middle, uh, I showed y'all in the transmutation circle in the middle of the kelepot, which is the shell, the peel, or the husk of your host body. That's where we exist and where we're getting transmuted because the kelepot is evil by nature. They say it, kelepot is a host body. Kelepot is a shell. Kelepot is a peel that houses the fruit. Kelepot is a husk. Kelepot is a host body. And the kelepot is inherently evil, and sparks of holiness are exiled in the kelepot. Say it again. Sparks of holiness, which is God's children, are exiled in the host body. Have I not said you are gods, but you shall die like men. You shall fall like one of the princes. Yeah. It's all making sense now, isn't it? I told you, it's going to flow like a river. <laughs> oh, no. It's going to flood again. <laughs> it's a river in my front door. We're still under flood warning. I better not say that again. <laughs> so crazy. Okay, here we go. I'm just going to leave it at that. Okay, now, watch. Get ready. Okay, this is where... Okay, y'all remember I showed you this image right here? Let me go back and see if uh, it's... There we go. I already showed you this image. I want to show it to you. I'm going to enlarge it one more time. I want you to recognize what you're looking at. Okay, you're in class now. This, Guys, let me tell you, I'm telling you right now, this will be on the final exam. <laughs> it's like... This is going to be on the final exam. You're going to want to know this. <laughs> okay. Take a look. Okay. This is this. What's in the middle of this? Well, it's a shortened version of a, of a, the kelepot. It's, it's been scaled down a little bit, but it's the same thing. It's identical. Same thing, just scaled down. Okay. Now, let's go back and watch this video right here. Okay. So, you see that image? Let me just make sure you all understand. I want you to know I am not making this up. I'm going to move this over here now. Okay, then I'm going to go like this. And I'm going to shove this. Is that the same thing? It's a yes or no. Are you looking at the same exact crop circle? The answer is yes, you are. Okay, y'all ready? Watch this and listen closely. This Fancy. has absolutely nothing. And I repeat, this has absolutely nothing to do with any of the other stuff I've done. Uh, this was an email Dave sent me. And as I watched it, I, I literally gave up looking from my bottom jaw. It's over. Watch. Here we go. <laughs> this is so crazy. <laughs> And so another crop circle appears, where the amount of standing and flattened elements also show to be the same figures in a scale of 1 to 10. Its construction is of the most advanced geometry, consisting of 144 circles around a circle. Challenging enough to construct on paper, but in the middle of a crop field at night, and even without touching the center of the pattern. This remarkable formation, only lasting a few hours before the harvesters moved in, not only in total clarity symbolizes the DNA spiral, but also the squaring of the circle and the relationship between the Earth and Moon by divine numbers. And to add it all up, the sum of these two numbers is 1296, which again is 6 times 6 times 6 times 6. In the ancient Greek alphabet, these numbers correlate to letters spelling out a name. That name is Goddess of All What? <laughs> Pause it. Pause it. Pause it. Pause. Freak out. Did you hear that? Pay attention to what that guy just said. <laughs> this guy doesn't know me. He's not watching my videos. This video was done like in 2011, I think. Watch this. This is crazy. The relationship between the Earth and Moon by divine numbers. And to add it all up, 
The sum of these two numbers is 1296, which again is 6 times 6 times 6 times 6. In the ancient Greek alphabet, these numbers correlate to letters spelling out a name. That name is Goddess <laughs> of All Creation. Yeah. Calipot. Goddess of All Creation. Calipot. Goddess of All Creation. Calipot. Goddess of All Creation. DNA. Goddess Calipot. of All oh Creation. Gosh. Okay, and I made sure I just kept saying that on purpose because, guys, that crop circle, and you're going to see the video now, that crop circle is a representation of the goddess of all creation, which is the host body system, which was your trap. What do you think Jesus said? Don't your own scriptures say you're gods? Because they were all pissed off that he was healing people. He was undermining their religion. You know, they, they love their religion. Like all the people that leave their hateful comments. They hate truth, but they love religion. It was like, wait a minute. Jesus is the truth. What the hell's the matter with you? But Jesus said, you know what? I've come to open. I've come to judge the world and to give sight to the blind. And to show those that think they see that they are blind. And when the Jews said, are you saying that we're blind, I say? <laughs> and Jesus said, you know, if you were blind, nombre, <laughs> you would have no sin. But you say we see, therefore, your sin remains. Because you're not clear to sin until you're able to see spiritually. That's why these people that come in, leave these hateful, crazy comments, I literally laugh at their comments now. I'm like, yeah, okay, go, you know. And then after I laugh, I'm like, God, help them, I pray for them. I'm saying, Lord, I'm so sorry, but you know what? All I can do now is laugh at it because what are you going to do? Can't do anything. It is what it is. Here we go. Goddess of all creation. N is six times six DNA. times six times six. In the ancient Greek alphabet, these numbers correlate Calipa. to letters spelling out a name. That name is... Goddess of now, all creation. Does that make sense? All of a sudden, why the Statue of Liberty is in front of the Twin Towers and she's standing, which the Twin Towers, by the way, are two giant DNA markers. That's exactly what they are. And here's a picture of two DNA markers I put next to them, or I had Dave put next to the Twin Towers. See the lights lit up? See the DNA markers? Those are big DNA markers. And there's the Queen of Heaven that rules over the twin system. It's a binary system we got trapped in. We're in a binary system, and we got trapped as slaves to this binary system. That's what we're in. And they're taking our energy, and they're trying to make one thing out of it. But in the end, it's going to consume itself. So anyway, there it is. And now let's take a look at the Statue of Liberty. And what's inside her? Oh, son of a gun. Tell me it ain't so, Johnny. Yeah, it's so. Sure enough, she's got a DNA spiral staircase, the goddess of all creation. Standing on top of the same thing you keep seeing in crop circles. They're not crop circles. They're transmutation circles done in fields of crops. Guess what? Did you know one of the anomalies of these things is it changes the properties of the seeds and it changes them on a physiological level. Well, that's kind of weird. No kidding. What do you think is happening to you? <laughs> the wheat and the weeds. You wonder why they're doing it in crop circles? Because we're the crop. Oh, my gosh. Story of, story of the evil farmers. Yeah. Wait, there's lots more. Don't go anywhere. <laughs> so there's the, the the goddess of all creation statue standing on top of, look, with her DNA standing on top of all the pictures I just showed you in the crop circles. <laughs> hey, y'all know about that band Slipknot? I told you those guys were in San Antonio one time, and I partied with them. I gave them sunglasses. Here, let me, let me take this image and slide it over onto their... <laughs> there you go, Slipknot. Hey, what's up, a Calipot? Look at Slipknot's logo. 
Ah, that's all such a bust. Oh, my God. Look at that. Slipknot. Oh, gee, I haven't seen that before. Let's see. There's there's two triangles down here that turn to one. But in this one, there's only one, two, three. One, two, three. But the two become one. Oh, what an interesting logo in the middle. Like one right side up, one upside down. Slipknot. The harder you pull, the tighter it gets. Oh, wow. Uh, that's why you got to give up. That's why Jesus said, a broken and contrite heart I will not despise. Because when you're broken, you can say, I can't do this anymore. And you can say, would you please save me? I can't fix myself, which is what I did. I made a million dollars in one year. And I was like, you know, I got everything I want. I got the girls. I got the cars. I got houses. I got whatever I need. And I don't even care because nothing makes sense. I just want to know the truth. I want to know Jesus, but I don't know which one to look for. Jesus is the one that turns the world upside down, and so are his disciples. That's why it says in Acts 17.6, Paul and Silas have turned the world upside down, and now they're here disturbing our city. That's why it says in 2 Kings 21, I will take Jerusalem and wipe her and clean her as one wipes a dish and turneth it upside down. That's why it says in Psalm 146.9, the Lord loveth the righteous, but the way of the wicked he turneth upside down yeah and people ask me oh so click no one got saved in the old testament wrong whoever god wants to save he saves and you know what what i know they knew back in the day because isaiah said back in the day of isaiah woe unto them who go to great depths to hide their plans from the lord they do their works in darkness and they think no one will see them or know what they are doing they turn everything upside down so that argument doesn't hold any water uh just like a lot of people's brains can't function or can't power through the logic. It's like, duh, Isaiah knew it. Duh, 2 Kings 21. Duh, Psalm 146.9. Uh, back in the day, they knew the same thing I know. But Jesus came and told Peter, you're going to be the key. You're, I'm going to give you the keys to the kingdom of heaven. And that's why the Catholic Church made a mockery of the whole thing, because it's Lucifer's church. And so they big, had a big throne called the throne of St. Peter, like a penis. And it's a penis and a vagina, which is the double system. Right side up, upside down. Bam! Try and argue with that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Tough guy. <laughs> you know... Back in the day, I have a friend. I used to go out, and I used to. One reason I took martial arts is because I couldn't stand bullies. Bullies disgust me. They are the biggest cowards there are. And I used to watch guys bully. Guys used to bully me when I was in high school. And I was like, man, these guys are just. They're losers. So I took martial arts, and I got good, and I got really good really quick. And you know what? Guys would come up to me and start calling me names, and all I would do to them is I would look at them and go. <laughs> they couldn't handle it. Bam! I needed them to throw the first punch. <laughs> they threw the first punch on this one. So I'm just responding in kind, guys. You guys threw the first punch with the knowledge thing. So let me respond in kind. All hope is gone. You think so? Wrong. Y'all are wrong. Y'all are done. Your little party's over. And I can't believe I party with these guys. <laughs> so, yeah. Anyway, I can't believe I'm getting free glasses. Oh, uh, look. What is that? Oh, that's a Kellipot. Oh, you guys are standing behind the... Oh, I get it. Slipknot. Oh, let's see. There's Lady Gaga and... Yeah, Marilyn Manson. Hey, let me show you. Let me show you one of their gang signs they're throwing. What's that? What's that all about? Look. What's that? Oh, that's a double V, the double U. See? That's what they're doing. And the two and the... The two in the middle are intertwined. That's why they do that nonsense. They think they're cool. Oh, yeah, whatever. Anyway, it's all making sense. MasterCard. Westworld. Journey. That's an alien coming out of the pit. Uh, Def Leppard. Oh, it's a woman looking in a mirror at her own reflection, but it makes a skeleton. Grateful Dead. It's a bunch of sperm around an egg. Grateful Dead. Oh, these guys are really cool. These guys are really neat. Y'all are so badass. I love the way you talk in a deep voice. And when you sing, you sing like wolves. 
Uh, oh, look at that. Thy art is murder. Oh, you guys love murdering little lambs because you're twisted. And you love singing like this. <laughs> Have you guys ever seen that stuff? I used to go, I was like, why are these guys trying to sing like, oh, I was like, dude, we go, like, get a voice, bro. <laughs> I'm having fun with this now. Oh, gee. Rihanna, that's a lovely voice check on the side of your head. Rihanna, I love your tongue sticking out like that. It's so sexy. It drives me crazy. <laughs> oh, Ozzy. Ozzy, he doesn't even try and hide it. Take it off the mask. Nice. Look at Tool burning one eye. Oh, y'all remember that. Oh, what's that right there? Looks like the same thing as that right there. Oh, third eye blind. Oh, I get it. Third eye blind. I get it. Oh, look. There's a representation of one of God's angels. Head, arm, arm, leg, leg. There you go. Oh, look at Tool. That's awesome. So you guys like what? Oh, you're like shedding skin. You're like, creepy. Oh, look at Tool. Oh, what's that? No. Tool, you guys got one too? I thought, wait a minute. I thought that was... Slipknot. Oh, both of you guys. Y'all have the y'all have the calipot. Isn't that oh look at that tool? Oh, I wonder if those are nuts and a wrench. <laughs> you bozos. Oh, and just oh Van Halen. Oh, I wonder why this one's like Siamese twin. Gee, I can't figure that out. Scorpions. No, you guys aren't obvious. Duh. And then there's Jonathan. That's a picture of me right here. <laughs> No, actually, this is actually the picture of Jonathan right here. <laughs> and the Lord God is the cage, keeping them all back. <laughs> There's Johnny. Yeah, put him up, put him up. What makes a muskrat card is musk courage. <laughs> I just don't care, that's what. <laughs> there you go. Open the gate. Let him in. <laughs> All right, let's have some fun. Goddess of all creation. Oh, don't you mean goddess of the host body system? Oh, that's what the Statue of Liberty is all about. <clears throat> Go ahead, get up. You're going back down, I guarantee it. Just don't get up. If you want to, get up. <laughs> we'll do it again. Whatever. All right, y'all ready? Y'all remember this video? We watched it the other day. I want you to watch it again. Watch it again. Listen very closely. Because we're going to watch another video after this. Y'all are going to freak out. I'm going to show you how we know for sure that most crop circles are not man-made. For over 30 years, a lot of scientific research has been done by a variety of researchers across the world. Universities and laboratories carried out scientific analyses of samples from hundreds of crop circles. What I'm going to do in this video is show you a list of weird things that you can find in genuine crop circles. The official term for weird things is biophysical anomalies. Here we go. First, there are what we call germination anomalies or seedling anomalies. This means the seeds from within the crop circle germinate at a different speed than those from outside the crop circle elsewhere in the same field. In some cases, crop circle seeds germinate faster. In other cases, they are slower. Second anomaly, elongated nodes. Crop circle plants often have elongated nodes, and in many cases they are not just elongated but bent as well, sometimes up to 90 degrees. Now this is not the result of phototropism, where the plants grow back to the sun in a vertical movement. This is a horizontal bending. After all, the plants lie flat to the ground. Scientists cannot explain this. It simply should not occur in nature. And what about tree formations? This one was discovered by myself in my home country, the Netherlands. They have also been reported in other countries, such as Canada and the Czech Republic. Third anomaly, expulsion cavities. In mature crop, 
the plant node's inside crop circles sometimes explode from the inside out. We call them expulsion cavities or blow nodes. The nodes are no longer flexible and cannot handle the intense energies with which the crop formations are made. Especially in maize or corn, the effect is quite spectacular. Fourth anomaly, vanished seeds. In some formations, the majority of the seeds have disappeared. Were they eaten by birds? Probably not. There are simply too many missing, or just on one side of the seed head, which is weird. Fifth anomaly, traces of heat found in quite a few crop circles, like for instance in this gorgeous formation of 2001. I found both burnt thistles sticking out of the downed wheat and dehydrated and rolled up grass as if the formation was formed by something hot and swirling. Or this one in 2008. Some of the standing tufts were utterly scorched. And this one in 94, where hot molten meteoric dust had covered the white chalk stones in the formation. It then cooled down and solidified leaving a brown layer all over the stones. Sixth anomaly, the dead flies. In 1998, I discovered hundreds of tiny dead flies on the standing tufts in a crop circle at Cheryl. I'm going to pause it for a sec. We're going to pick this video right back up, but just to make sure you stay very interested in what you're looking at, here is uh, part of the other video. Uh, here's part of the other video you're going to watch. I'm just going to intermix it to you for a sec. Just to, I want you all to just think about what that lady was saying. Now watch this. You got more coming. Ready? Take a look. What is that? What? <laughs> That was weird. That's weird. Weird. Uh. Uh, that's freaky. But in two thousand. Okay, you know what? Let's go back to the other one. I told you this is going to be a crazy video. <laughs> Let's go back. Oh, they're so busted. I found none elsewhere in the field. And up till today, I keep finding dead flies and crop circles. A similar event took place in 2004 when my friend Annemieke Witterfein discovered dead slugs in a crop formation. Seventh anomaly, strange substances. In 97, a white spongy substance was found in a crop circle in the Netherlands. It was only the beginning of a whole series of events in my home country where we found large quantities of strange deposits inside crop circles. Chemical analyses show that none of these substances occur in nature. Who or what made it and left it there? Eighth anomaly, ghost formations. When the farmer harvests his crop and plows his field at the end of the season, no trace is left of the crop circle that was there. Then the next season he sows a new crop. Well, lo and behold, the crop circle of the previous season seems to reappear in the field. In this case at Barbary Castle in Wiltshire, the plants were longer and stronger than the control plants elsewhere in the field. This is not simply a germination anomaly like we've seen previously, as the seeds in this case belong to a whole different crop. They have nothing to do with the crop circle seeds. These growth anomalies are caused by an alteration in the crystalline structure of the field. In this case at Barbary Castle in Wiltshire, the plants were longer and stronger than the control plants elsewhere in the field. This is not simply a germination anomaly like we've seen previously, as the seeds in this case belong to a I'm whole different... I'm going to stop it there. Do you understand what you're looking at? You're not looking at a crop circle. You're looking at a transmutation circle 
in a field of crops. <laughs> and guess who's being harvested? We are. <laughs> guess who's being transmuted? We are. Oh my God, the mystery solved. <laughs> called Giorgio Sakopoulos with Ancient Aliens. Is it possible? What if Ancient Aliens? <laughs> hey, Georgie, give me a call, man. I'll fill you in. <laughs> so crazy. <laughs> yeah, that's transmutation circle. You got it figured out now, folks? That's why the statue of Eleutheria is holding a penis in her hand, standing on top of a kelepot. <laughs> Yeah, we're the angels that got trapped. Damn. Feel kind of stupid now, don't you? Now, let me tell you about Jesus. He's the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords. He's the Lord God come in the flesh, and he's my Lord and Savior. And I'm one of his angels. <laughs> Crop. They have nothing to do with the crop circle seeds. These growth anomalies are caused by an alteration in the crystalline structure of the surface soil. The intense energies that cause the crop circle to appear modify the soil and thus its fertility. According Modifies the soil research, the and thus its fertility. This kind of crystalline alteration should not occur in surface soil anywhere on the planet. We simply do not know of any kind of energy able to accomplish this. And it gets even better when snow melts on the exact same spot that held a crop circle a few months prior. Ninth anomaly, magnetic field distortions. In various crop circles, our compass showed anomalies. North was no longer north. Tenth anomaly, time distortions. Two stopwatches showed two different outcomes. One was taken inside the crop circle, the other one stayed at the edge of the field. Eleventh anomaly, failing equipment. Some equipment does not go well with strong electromagnetic fields. Is this why cameras sometimes fail to focus or to get the lighting right? A bit to the left or right and everything was just fine, but move back and the same problem occurred. Phones too have proven to dysfunction in some crop circles. On top of all of this, there is the lay of the crop, the way the plants have been laid down. You don't have to be Einstein to understand that this is not the work of men with stumper boards. This lovely formation not only had an intricate centre swirl, it also had a thistle standing up straight, dead centre in one of the tiny circles. And what about this one? We called it the woven basket for obvious reasons. And the sunflower I want to take a moment I want to take a moment in it. to talk about the woven basket. Demo Democrat Demos and then Kratos means demon fishing basket. Have you noticed how the Democrats have lost their ever loving minds? And then they're they're not civil people anymore. They're lunatics. They've lost their minds. I'm not Democrat. I'm not Republican. I'm nothing. I'm not a part of the world government. I'm not part of the mind control. I've been saved out of it. But I can sure stand back and look at it, and I can show you who's lost their ever-loving minds. And that's the liberals. They've lost their minds. They're losing their minds. And the reason is because they're connected to this. And, and By the way, the Republicans are too. But the Democrats and their behavior is delusional just watch just turn on the turn on the tv they've got this vitriol by the way there's a new clothing line out guess what it's called we're gonna look at clothing lines too not in this video it's called vitriol <laughs> yeah. yeah a clothing line called vitriol you're gonna love the designs they're really nice i think everybody should get some you know <laughs> so Nests in its center. Ooh. What about the inner spiral of this beauty? The Hinton Parva formation of 2006 blew me away. 
It seemed simple from the air, right next to a burial mound, but take a look at the details in the two outer circles. Isn't this just breathtaking? And this one, a year later, seemed rather messy from the air, but look at the intricacy on the ground. From nests to swirls to knots, bouquets, bridges, ovals. One of the best ever appeared at Avebury Troslow in 2009. The inner circle had a massive amount of swirls, whereas the centre was something I'd never seen before and I've never seen since. Look at that. The outer circles had the most Do you understand what you're features. looking at? Look at that. Do you understand that those little twisted things of grain are the center of a caliphate? <laughs> Do you understand what this is? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, then there was West Overton in that same year with the most breathtaking circles. The center circle was like a woven basket. One of the outer circles seemed to be swirling, so many swirls, and the other outer circle consisted of seven rings and a double swirl in the center. Some rings were radiating outwards, others were laid down in a swirling fashion. One of the smallest circles of this planetary information had a surprise. Have a look at this. Talking about surprises, the smoking alien had off-centered swirls, double swirls, and something like a bird's nest that even amazed my dog. And look at the swirls on his forehead. Then in 2012, finally, a crop circle in poppies. The delicate flowers had been laid down meticulously. Nothing was damaged. That's Not amazing. a footprint could be found. 2013, more swirls, nests, and intricate weaving. Just a simple circle? I think not. There it is. I could go on forever, but let's finish with this one. The edges seemed messy, but try doing this with boars at night. Small amounts of plants were laid down towards the center. Right side up, upside down, male, female. <laughs> for those who still cling to the yeah. idea of hoaxes with stumper boards, take a look at this. Snow formations. These circles formed in the Netherlands in 2009, and to tell you the truth, they blew me away. Even after all of the hundreds of crop circles that I've seen over the years, to behold this, all those circles in fresh snow and no footprint leading up to them, was a sight I will never forget. And a final challenge for the stumperboard theory, a fully intact bird's nest. Count the eggs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. In decagram. You've got to be one hell of a hoaxer to accomplish that in the All right. So, the night. what do we have in common here? They are not crop circles. They are not crop circles. They are transmutation circles from the ones that are running this prison evil farmers. It's the story of the evil farmers, guys. So, we're going to watch one more video to tack onto this to make sure your jaw is fully unhinged. <laughs> 
Okay, here we go. Let's go back to this one. Let's see. Here we go. Let me make sure I got the right one. Remember the goddess of all creation. And that's why they got DNA. I told you. Okay, here we go. Let's just get to it. was to appear in the fields right in front of the telescope. On the morning of 14th of August 2000, right behind me is Britain's largest radio telescope, the Chilbolton Observatory. And here it was that the greatest sensation in the crop circle history was to appear in the fields right in front of the telescope. On the morning of 14th of August 2001, a formation was discovered which was different from any other previously seen. From the ground it looked like a tangled mess, wisps of crops spread around in no system. However, in the evening with growing shadows, a picture appeared, Shadow arts. unmistakably that of a face. That picture represented a whole new technique, a screen technique, the same that's used for printing a picture on paper. Three days later, the face was joined by something that looked like a data strip. Rows of counters made out of standing and... But soon, an astonishing similarity is discovered. In 1974, the astronomer Carl Sagan composed a message that NASA sent into space from the Arecibo telescope in Puerto Rico. Binary figures which constituted a graphic code presenting key factors about humans and the planet we live on. 27 years later, an identical pattern appears in a crop field right in front that. of a similar radio telescope. Right here on the right is what Carl Sagan, they sent this signal into space in binary code. This is what came back in a crop circle. It's identical to what was sent by Carl Sagan. Except for on this side, there's a little bit difference. There's a difference here. This looks obviously like a large-headed alien with eyes, short arms, short legs. And this is a representation of the human figure. And it's all in binary code. I've looked at this repetitively. It, this is just, it's insane. It's, it's just, this is just mind-boggling. However, on closer inspection, it seemed to show that the code contained some fundamental differences. Sagan's message explained our calculation system, the dominant chemical substances within the elements that create life on Earth, about our DNA code, human's height and quantity, and that we live on the third planet in our solar system, and lastly, a sketch of our radio telescope. The message received described the same calculation system, but that silicon is most dominant in life forms in contrast to carbon. The drawing also clearly shows a humanoid figure with large head in relation to its body. It's also explained that they have an extra string in their DNA, are approximately four feet tall, inhabit the third, fourth and fifth planets in their solar system, and have a population of around 21.3 billion. Underneath, the telescope has been replaced by something more complex. One year earlier, a strange crop circle had appeared in the same place. Is this the same illustration as in the sender's code? Is this the correspondence radio telescope? If this is not an extremely clever and well-calculated joke conducted by humans, is it a serious response from an alien civilization? The Chill Bolton crop formations really gave new life to the speculation. I'm going to continue with this understanding right here. That method. Mathematicians have struggled with for over 2,000 years. Sorry. The act of. Well, I mean, breathtakingly simple. The solutions that Alan Brown had found are tied to a known geometrical problem that mathematicians have struggled with for over 2,000 years. 
The act of squaring the circle with compass and ruler, which involves creating a square oh, okay. and a circle now whose perimeters are equal. This is where you really need to listen to the mechanics of this. Because remember, the, the Statue of Liberty, guys, I love you in Christ, but it's standing on top of what we call our host body. It is a geometric representation of the host body system. The Lord, let me prove it. It's not even optional. It's proven. Statue of Liberty has a DNA staircase that goes down from a penis down to the host body system. It's all straight out of the Bible. And the Lord is allowing me to completely pull back the veil on the system that we're slaves to. The Lord is letting me expose the system, the entire system. I mean, Vatican, divining serpent, snake wearing a crown, mouth of the snake, vagina, penis shooting its seed into the snake's mouth. I mean, give me a break. Rihanna wearing bottoms, mouth of the devil is her vagina. Uh, I've shown you that same anomaly repetitively. So the vagina is the source of food for this race of beings, which is the host body system. But guess what? Stuff that gets trapped in the host body system is the actual food. The host body system is just a mechanism to transmute the food to the race of locusts that are coming out of the pit. Why do you think there's a big scorpion uh, transmutation crop circle with one, two, three, four, five scorpions going in a circle because it's true. You're getting ready to see, <clears throat> when I say you're getting ready to see, hopefully none of y'all have to see this, but the world's going to see it, I guarantee you. That's why I'm here. I'm a harbinger. I work for the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords, and I'm not afraid of them or their stupid system. I serve a mighty God. And so I'll let him decide what to do with me. But I'll tell you what, I'm not afraid to expose it <laughs> or laugh in their face. <laughs> Y'all are busted. <laughs> and the king's coming. Wouldn't want to be you. Y'all know who I'm talking to, right? You know who you are. Pay attention now. It's very important. This, in fact, is impossible to achieve with 100% accuracy due to the impossibility of constructing the irrational a square and a circle whose perimeters... I want you to hear the whole thing. Solution, uh, ...studying this problem haven't discovered before. I mean, breathtakingly simple. The solutions that Alan Brown had found are tied to a known geometrical problem that mathematicians have struggled with for over 2,000 years. The act of squaring the circle with compass and ruler, which involves creating a square and a circle whose perimeters are equal. This, in fact, is impossible to achieve with 100% accuracy due to the impossibility of constructing the irrational number pi, which again is used to calculate the circle's circumference. There are known methods on how to get quite close to a solution, but I don't have a lot of time to say. New principles for doing this with an accuracy only limited to the thickness of the pencil line was revealed in a crop circle. In 1997, Michael Glickman discovered that one of the circles that year contained some very special proportions. Uh, what Michael Glickman noticed about that formation was that if you if you connected up the centers of the four satellite circles and drew a square, then that square would be in exactly the squared circle proportions as to this circle, which was re represented by the mother circle. So this, this formation encoded a squared circle. Uh, Alan now began to look at crop circles you know, throughout the past 25 years that, that seemed to have the same common proportions simple formations with four satellite circles around a center, so-called quintuplets. quintuplets. He understood that okay, these demonstrated back. the same... Do you understand quintuplets? Quintuplets. Quintuplets. 
quintuplets. VXV. Told you so. He understood that these demonstrated the same principle of squaring the circle. What I found that, that the fact that they so comprehensively did it right the way from like the first one I studied in 1983 right the way to the last one I studied in 2002 was that the same notion of the squaring of the circle was being demonstrated in all that body of formations over a like 25 year span. On closer studies of these circles, he suddenly discovered new simple and elegant construction methods regarding this problem that had never been seen before. Is it possible that something such as that <laughs> can suddenly appear by chance in a field of flattened corn? This is just taking the most simple, simple geometry that even a school kid can learn and recombining it in an incredibly simple way, which then allows solutions to just drop out, drop out of the hat as it were. So, I mean, and again, I find that, that is a, to me an indicator of intelligence. It's not, it's, not fight, it's not going deeper into complexity, it's taking the simplest component parts and recombining them in a way which we've just never thought to do. So simple. Look, These new look methods at what you're connected at, to folks. squaring the circle uses Look at what you're looking at. It's so simple. These new methods connected to squaring the circle uses three basic elements that symbolize the earth, human beings, and the wholeness. Is a spiritual message hidden here? Is this an encouragement to the human race to seek a new understanding in connection with our relationship to earth and the wholeness? Strangely enough, this also relates to the difference in size between the earth and moon's radiance. You can then run a circle through the center of the moon which then squares the circle. And maybe even more remarkable is that the same principle is again noticed in Stonehenge in relation to the distance between the inner and outer stone circles. Did man, some 5,000 years ago, know something that we don't or have forgotten? Or is this again just another coincidence? And when one takes the Earth's diameter and the Earth plus Moon's radius in English miles, so, correspondingly, it relates to the same figures in feet and decimals as to Stonehenge. These figures, 5040 and 7920, are keys to that basic and traditional formulation of number that lay on the root of all ancient culture. 5040 is the first seven numbers multiplied together. 7920 appears by multiplying the next four. The Greek philosopher Plato describes these numbers as the key symbols of the divinely ordered creation. And so another crop circle appears, where the amount of standing and flattened elements also show to be the same figures in a scale of 1 to 10. Its construction is of the most advanced geometry, consisting you know of 144 circles around a circle. You're looking at the all-seeing eye. That's what you're looking at. You're looking at the eye of the enemy. All seen eye. That's it. Challenging enough to construct on paper, but in the middle of a crop field at night, and even without touching the center of the pattern. This remarkable formation, only lasting a few hours before the harvesters moved in, not only in total clarity symbolizes the DNA spiral, but also the squaring of the circle and the relationship between the Earth and Moon by divine numbers. And to add it all up, the sum of these two numbers is 1296, which again is 6 times 6 times 6 times 6. In the ancient Greek alphabet, these numbers correlate to letters spelling out a name. That name is <laughs> Goddess of All Creation. Told ya! What have I been telling ya? Remember I told you I got saved in an alley in 2002? Remember? I told you, Lord, tell me, go out that door and you'll know the truth. I went out the door. I was willing to die to do it. Walk down the stairs. Pray with me, my brother. Our Father who art in heaven. Water and light came down on me. Then Michael looked at me and said, Ye say, Hail Mary. And as I did, I said, I felt death.
I felt the light and the life leaving my body. I've been vindicated, completely vindicated now. <laughs> so all you haters, yeah, God have mercy on you. I can't even be mad at you. I feel sorry for you. Anyway, it is what it is. You had your day in the sun. Day's over. Anyway, um, there it is. There it is. That's why the goddess of all creation DNA. Oh, does that remind you? Does that remind you of what the Lord had me show you guys? Statue of Liberty with the chains. And one represents leaving heaven because Lucifer wanted his own kingdom. And then he holds all of us slaves to the host body system. Arise, O sleeper, wake up from the dead. Have I not said you are gods, but you shall die like men. Arise, O sleeper, wake up from the dead, and Christ will give you light. If, if y'all don't understand what just got delivered to you, I don't know any other way. Maybe not laugh so much. <laughs> put them up, put them up. What makes a muskrat guard his musk courage? <laughs> That's it. I got to guard my musk because I'm the musk guarder. There you go. DNA all the way. DNA all the way. DNA all the way. Kelepot, O's body, queen of heaven, goddess of all creation. Busted. All glory to God. <laughs> Thank you, Abba. Now, so, by the way, there's a real fruitcake out there. I'm not going to mention his name. But he, he altered something of me saying, I said, thank you, Abba. And he must have jacked with, made it, tried to make it sound like Allah. That's insane. Allah. <laughs> Abba. It's what we affectionately call the Lord God, our Father in heaven, whereby we cry out, Abba, Father. And maybe that. Pathetic shill doesn't know who Abba is, obviously. All right, guys. We're going home soon. Yeah. All right, guys. I really enjoyed just getting to... I'm sorry I was laughing so much. But once you know that you know that you know, <laughs> it's like, what you going to do now? Going to get all mad? Ooh. <laughs> go ahead man bring it all right guys god bless there it is i love you guys thank you for letting me minister to you and show you the truth all right now remember there's only one way to the father and that's through the son there's only one way to the father and that is through the son and he made peter his right hand man for a reason and he gave Peter the keys to the kingdom of heaven. And how'd you get through the door without the key? That's what resolved everything I've shown you. 100% nylon. <laughs> Turn it upside down. God bless you guys.